The following video will review the hydraulics involved for the MRB3 or Midro shank system. The Borgo Midro system places a fertilizer coulter or shank between every second row of seed openers. So one opener would feed fertilizer from the left side, one would feed it from the right side. So how the system works. We have pressure oil coming from our tractor on the TR, TR, DCP. Return on the TR, TR, DCR. Goes to the direction of control solenoid. And then it comes out on the MRB-P and back in on the MRB-R. Pressure when lowering our mid rows and return when lowering our mid rows. When we want to raise our mid rows, the direction control solenoid on the high float or standard block reverses the flow so the R becomes the pressure and the P becomes the return. Very simple system. So that system pressure oil is going to the mid row bander block and the mid row bander block has a manual pressure reduction valve. This sends reduced pressure to the mid rows to allow them to have their trip. The trip force is adjusted here. It's a manual adjustment. There's a gauge on the opposite side of the block with a very narrow window of acceptable operating range. Below that we have a CKGB pilot operated check valve. That pilot operated jet check valve allows those mid rows to travel up and down over obstacles to the adjusted pressure. It gives it a path for the oil. The CXFA is a one way check that allows the system to bypass the pressure reduction when raising the mid rows up. If we want to run with the mid rows up for an extended period of time, we lock out both the pressure to the rod end and the return from the base end to lock that oil in those cylinders and keep them up. The valve we're looking at here has the optional directional control solenoid on top of it. What this is is a momentary raise of the mid row system to clear straw as you're seeding, independent from the opener raise lower. So our openers could be down and seeding. We could raise the mid rows to clear straw. Very simple circuit. Let's do a quick review of the mid row system. So our pressure oil from our tractor comes on the TRTRDC-P. We're showing the 3441-53 high flow block but the same applies to the standard valve. So I'll just zoom in a little bit and we can see what's going on. So the pressure oil feeds the direction of control solenoid on the block, on the P port, and then without applying any power to the coil, it sends the oil out on the A port and then it makes its way out on the MRB P port. That would feed the pressure reduction valve. At the same time, there's a connection between the B port, so the return side of things, and the tank port, so sump. So that's the return path. So we're going to move over to the pressure reduction valve for the mid row system. It's a 3441-46. This has accommodations for a directional control solenoid, so a raise lower solenoid to raise them independently. But basically we have our PVLV oil coming from the opener valve. So this is sitting at system pressure, whatever the tractor is putting out. Then it travels to the PPHB pressure reduction valve. It is a manual adjustment. So you adjust it to a thin operating range that the gauge shows here. That is our trip force for the mid rows. And then it feeds the A port. And then without applying power to that directional spool up top here, 
or if it had the cap on it, it would feed oil over to the P port and then out to the mid rows to lower them on the PDRL. And then the return oil comes in the RDRL, comes into the direction control spool on the T port, and exits on the B port without applying any power to that coil. There is the CKGB, it's a pilot or operated check valve. That really receives its pilot pressure from the system pressure. So this is tractor system pressure to open the pilot. This is here to allow the mid rows to move up and down over obstacles to the adjusted relief pressure. Allows the flow through there. When we go to raise our openers with the opener valve, it'll raise the mid rows at the same time. It do, does so by supplying pressure now on the RVLV. That'll bypass this check valve to push it through. Comes in on the B port, and we remember our B is connected to T port, and then out to the mid rows. At the same time, the P port, so the PDRL, now becomes a return, and P is connected over to our A port and that instead of going through the pressure reduction valve it'll simply bypass the one-way check valve the CXFA and then return out this way.